refuse to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things. Not because they are easy, but because they are hard. The Gemini Man spaceflight program was a unique step between the initial step from the space on Mercury and then to meet the commitment of going to the moon that President Kennedy had laid out of Apollo. But to go to the moon in the method we had, the architecture, we had to rendezvous, we had to have precise reentry back on the Earth, we had to spend long durations of time. And while we were starting to design Apollo hardware, nobody had ever done a rendezvous. Nobody had spent a long duration mission or even a precise reentry. So it was decided that we would take an interim step and then apply the lessons we would learn from this interim step into Apollo. The Titan what was uh, the booster we had available, you know, to look at a payload of around 8,000 pounds into low Earth orbit and to modify the Titan II ballistic missile. It had the reliability and had the payload. There was just a unique uh, availability of what this launch vehicle had. Now, of course, it was two-staged. To give you an example of the difference in the feel of riding that thing, the big Saturn that I flew out to the moon on Apollo 10 was 12 minutes into orbit. You know, with a four and a half G pulse, three and three quarters, a small kick. And then the small Saturn that flew on a 1B or flew on Apollo Soyuz was 10 minutes, two stages, four and a half, three and a quarters. The shuttle, piece of cake. The liquid engines throttle back. It's eight and a half minutes positive, but it's only about three Gs. In the Gemini Titan, you were in orbit in five minutes and 35 seconds and particularly the staging sequence in that second stage burnout was a real kick that you will never forget. And of course, designed as a ballistic missile in the sequence, when the first stage shut down, you're riding and you're pushed back in there about five and a half Gs and suddenly it shuts down. And they go through a sequence they still use today called fire in the hole, where they fire the second stage before the bolts explode. So you're sitting there and wham, you go from five and a half Gs down to zero G. There's a big flash of fire. You fly through the fire and you're gone. <laughs> And even though the, some of the staging sequence on Apollo was unique, that fire in the hole in Gemini was, was really unbelievable. And then as you kept going on the second stage, you couldn't hardly hear the engines run. You knew something was going back there with that single thrust chamber, and just this force kept pulling up more and more and more. And finally, you got up near eight Gs pushing on. You'd get a few little stomach pains, but you'd be hanging on there, and suddenly, in a tenth of a second, you went from nearly eight Gs to zero G, just what? So you picked up, oh golly, 1,500 miles an hour in the last 10 seconds on that Titan. It was a kick. But also, we had to get off of it very fast because we were concerned about some auto ignition in the gas generators back on the second stage. So within 20 seconds from the time that engine shut down, taking you from 8 Gs to 0 G, you pushed the separation button and the maneuver handle, and you got off of it. It, it was really a sporty ride. To have the reliability, for a manned system, it takes a whole series of improvements over what you would have just as far as reliability numbers for a simple ballistic missile. And so there was a series of uh, redundant hydraulic systems that were put into the Titan II, the electrical systems, the sequence systems, and it's called man rating the booster. And in that, we had uh, astronauts assigned to various systems to look at it, to make inputs, to coordinate with engineers. So we were deeply involved uh, throughout the whole process of doing it. So it was a very, a very wonderful feeling to be involved in seeing the engineering inputs there and uh, the final end results. And you talk about togetherness. The Gemini was so small. You have less room in Gemini than you had in the front seat of a bug Volkswagen. In fact, I couldn't put my feet together in the footwell. But, you know, for, the, for, for such a, a small spacecraft, and what we performed was unbelievable in that period of time, in the, the two years from the, you know, starting, I think, March of 65 and through the end of 66, when we did those 10 manned Gemini missions, we had two unmanned previously before that. And it was really amazing what we accomplished with that little spacecraft. 